Okay everyone, so this is hopefully going to be a smallish video about something that I've kind of discovered. In case you're not already aware of this game engine uh, called GB Studio, it's an open source game engine as far as I'm aware, which allows you to create Game Boy games with no programming knowledge and it's just a drag and drop interface and it's... At least from what I gather, it's similar to like, uh, I think, Construct or maybe RPG Maker maybe. Basically what I'm trying to get out here is that one, it's free because it's open source and two, it's kind of easy to make a Game Boy game with and the best part is that you can actually export your game out as a ROM to actually play on a Game Boy emulator or even on a Game Boy itself. And now, because of Godot, you can actually combine the two and put your Game Boy game inside of Godot through like a Godot Boy extension or something like that. Now that that is out of the way, I just wanted to say all of that just to sort of introduce you to the uh, game engine and here it is the game engine and it's a little bit spaghettified. It kind of reminds me of like blueprints from Umbrella Engine but instead of like um, the nodes connecting to uh, functions it's nodes connecting to different like levels now the reason why i'm making this video is because i found out about godot boy from game from scratch and how you can combine the two and put a game boy made game inside of godot which i think is pretty awesome because game of uh, the G gb studio can only expose to well I mean, it can export to, wait, export as, you've got a uh, web, pocket, and ROM. So you do have different options, but the main one, I think, is going to be export to ROM. And you can only do those sort of options, but with Godot, when you put this into Godot using the extension that uh, you can download through the asset library, you can actually export this with, gonna, uh, with Godot to an EXE, which means you can play it on your computer. But ultimately, the reason why I am making this video is because I wanted to test out this game engine, and because it's a brand new game engine, uh, even though I'm still using Godot as my primary game engine because I'm having a, a, a great time with it, I wanted to have another game engine to, you know, have a dive into, to experiment, and, you know, th th that's how you sort of learn new things, you experiment and try new things. And so, what I wanted to do, because this game engine allows you to create a sample project to uh, look into the different levels, to ha see how it's constructed, and, of course run your project to really get a feel for how everything sort of connects and here is my issue finally so i have already tried to run this project not even export it but literally just run the project like a test run and i kid you not when i clicked on the run button at first literally nothing happened and I was waiting nothing happened so then uh, well I mean when I clicked on run it does have that sort of um, sort of buffering icon thing and I was like what is it doing so then yeah I click it again and this stuff comes up and uh, let me just cancel the build um, and I was like watching this as it like went down the list of what it was doing and it was saying like compiling this compiling this non-stop compiling things and i was thinking okay this is taking a little bit of time but hopefully it'll be finished in like maybe a minute or two no
The picture in which you are seeing right now on the screen, you can see it took about almost. Why well, is it almost? It, it 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 took about seven minutes, but it almost took ten minutes just to run a game for a test run. Almost ten minutes. I don't think I've ever dealt with a game engine uh, within the last few years that took that long to even do a test. Because, okay, I thought that maybe it's because there's a lot in this project. So I went for a simpler project. Like, uh, because the game engine uh, gives you three sample projects. One is this one. The next one is, I think, it's a more basic sample project. And then the third one is just a blank project, completely bl blank. And I wanted to try for the second one, the, the basic sample project. And what I got was, it felt like it was the exact same compile time for test running a project and the only thing I can think of either I've installed it wrong or I need to install something further for it to build quicker or something like that but also apparently I was actually looking uh, into my task manager because my computer was it sounded like it was doing quite a few things and I found out that my antivirus was doing some work and I was thinking wait so is it scanning these individual files as they compile and I was thinking why the thing is I know that this is like all open source and that there have been quite a few people talking about it and uh, apparently it's it's like very well used in the game development uh, circle. I mean, obviously, most people use Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, but a lot of people do seem to be using this. And the fact that you've got an antivirus scanning your. I mean, okay. It's, at least it's actually scanning, it's doing its work. Because if it wasn't doing its work, then great. I mean, that, actually, wait, no, that wouldn't be great. But I suppose my issue is how long it's taking for it to compile. The only other game engine that I can think of that takes a little bit long to compile is Game Maker Studio when I tried it out. But even that didn't take as long as like 7 or 10 minutes to compile everything before running the build of your game. And I just think that's kind of absurd how a game engine like takes that long and I've looked it up online and apparently it's only for your first build but even then even for your first build you shouldn't need to wait 10 minutes to run your game for the first time especially when you've got game engines that are getting faster to use and I mean with Godot that's getting faster to boot up and load and when you're uh, testing out your scene it's pretty fast to uh, test out your scene which is absolutely wonderful because uh, obviously you want to like do your stuff in your level and you want to test it real quickly to see if it works and it does so that's great but waiting this long for your first test run of your project of your level whatever it's just absolutely absurd and i'm sure that i there has to be some further installation required right and hold on a minute so i actually looked at the uh, github of gb studio and it says here with the installation download the release okay you yeah, download it there or run or, or to run from source uh so install node JS. I suppose you can just download this or you can 
do all of this. So maybe, because I thought that, because I read all of this, that this is needed for like extra installation to make it, to, to, to make the engine work properly maybe. But it says or. So you can download this or do all of this. So I guess I do have the proper installation then. But why is it still taking long for a you know what, I'm going to do another run of the project and see how long that takes. Wait, ROM... T what? Okay, so it, it it is a lot quicker this time. So... And continue. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I did uh, save my game inside of this uh, project. Which is which is obviously isn't mine as I've uh, spoken to you, but okay. So the second test run is much much quicker than the first time. I mean that was like seven se. <laughs> it's funny how like it's seven seconds for the second time, but it's seven minutes for the first time. I just I just think that's absolutely bonkers. How the first time. Is the longest time you should never ever ever have to wait that long. I don't even. You know what? I want to try for like a completely blank a blank project now. Okay, so here we have a blank project now. How long is this going to take to run? One in uh oh oh okay so I actually have to uh build a level okay. So I guess I got, I got my level here, and set a starting scene. Yes, do that. Save that. Can I run now? Okay. So, compile it. Don't tell me that this is going to take like another seven minutes. Oh. Okay. So... Here we have one minute build time. Wait, can I like? Oh, I can actually just like move around like that. Okay, so that's uh neat. Okay, cool. Okay, so that has that has been less time. So it, I guess, it does depend on how much you have in your project. But it's still, I don't. It's still ridiculous how. I think I. Also remember someone saying online that if you change something in your project, it still takes a long time to compile because it needs to compile everything. I just how are people so okay with using a a a, a, a an engine like this when you're trying to learn a new engine and you're opening up a new sample project to try out to experiment to see how to see how things work and then you test run the build and then you have to wait that long i mean of course they're still working on it and it's not going to be like you know 100 percent perfect yet but i wonder at which point in their development uh this will get speed it up and I think it also depends on it. if I go to settings there is a build options compiler preset and it's got faster slower placebo I don't know what this means and I don't even think it's in the documentation for GB studio because I actually looked at the documentation and I actually went to the settings section of the documentation and the only options were open build logon warnings and generate debugging build, uh, files. Compiler preset was not even present there. So I don't think the documentation is even updated. But maybe having the compiler on that faster would be faster, of course. But I don't know how much faster it would be because I changed the compiler to faster on the other project I was on previously and even that still took so much time 
probably would have taken maybe five or maybe two minutes shorter, maybe three minutes, maybe even four minutes shorter, I don't know. But the fact that you still got to wait more than one or even two minutes, that is just ridiculous. I'm sure that there's going to be maybe uh, one or two commenters in the comment section who's uh, hopefully going to help me out in this area on how to make the build time uh, much faster. And if that happens, then I'll be much grateful because I am interested in trying out this engine. But I just can't get over how long the build times take. Maybe I'm just so used to Unity or Godot that you test your build, you you, you just run your scene, and it's just it's just, it's just quick like that. Maybe I'm just so used to that, and I have to get used to this. Maybe I don't know, but um, I I I was hoping for this video to be short, and yet it wasn't. So I apologise for that, but um. I hope that you guys will understand my uh, my confusion here and my kind of frustration as well. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because I just thought it's either it's something wrong with the engine or it's something wrong on my end as in I'm not understanding something fully and if I were to understand what I needed to do then maybe things would be much better. I don't know but I'm open to any possibility. But anyway everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys all in the uh, next one. Peace.